Hello and welcome to the all important q and I'm your host Fantasia and today we are joined by the amazing Lee Weingarten. Thank you Lee for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> So, first of all, we're going to talk about um, your music and your inspirations, and then we'll turn it a little bit more lighthearted so we know what direction we're going in. Okay. So, when it comes to music, obviously, you're very passionate about that, and um, it often shows when you're singing. But where would you say that inspiration and passion comes from? Who inspires you? Well, I, I, I think... as uh, when I was very young, uh, I, I think it was music, uh, just sound, literally the sound of music, any music, really. Uh, I, I was deaf as a young boy, so uh, I, was, I was born with hearing, and then I lost it due to an infection. And then they did little surgeries in my ears, and they put the uh, bones, those smallest bones in your body. I had to have those replaced. And uh, then I got my hearing in one ear, and I woke up after surgery, and uh, about a week later, my mom was playing the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, and first time hearing music, I was like, I was, I was like, I gotta know how to do that. <laughs> so it was just a natural thing for me. I was just like, I was, I was drawn to it. Well, obviously, being British, I was like chucked up, really, or dragged up, I'd say, on the Beatles and Bob Dylan and Blondie and all of those quite... Oh, Blondie. I love Blondie. Yeah. Yeah, Blondie's amazing. So that's quite a start out in life, to be honest with you, and not an easy thing to go through. So you must have tried to aspire to be like somebody as well then? Well, I... Literally, I, I my uncle, I guess it was the first person that I ever seen uh, who actually had an instrument in their hand. Uh, it was my uncle Fred. Fred Sklad was his name. He wasn't actually blood relative, but I called him Uncle Fred. He was my dad's best friend. He brought his guitar over, and I was like looking, I was listening to the music, and then my uncle started playing in the kitchen, and I remember running over and looking at the guitar and looking at the speakers, and I said, this is how you do it. <laughs> So that's what that's that's a truly a true story. Uh, Bob Seeger, John Cougar, I like all those guys. Tim McGraw, I love Tim McGraw. That's oh, probably, I like Tim McGraw. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's amazing, Annie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do uh, quite a few country songs in your sets and stuff, and obviously. Oh. As I said, I'm British, and here, country is not a great big thing. We Obviously, we know the really big stars like Johnny Cash. And, oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the ones I know, and probably Patsy Cline was classed as a country star back oh. in the day and, mm -hmm. and stuff. And they sing stories. They tell mm -hmm. a story with their song. What song do you think that you sing that tells your story? Hmm. Good question. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I'd have to look at my song list, really. Uh, uh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, chitty, chitty bang bang will be okay. No, it's not chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> I like so many different, like, I mean, I like so many songs. I, I do have a couple of originals that I play. I'm actually working on an album in real life right now. I've just been signed as a as a musician, uh, Firehorse Records, and I've got this one song on the bridge. That's about Miss Laurie and I. It's an excellent uh, song. There's one. <laughs> based, based, based on your meeting in on Christmas yeah. Eve. I yeah, it day. was. Yeah, I was so mad at Passport Canada. They kept denying my passport, and uh, I was I was ticked off. They called me, believe it or not, Christmas Eve at about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, and I was, like, planning on, I was, like, hoping. They said that they'd have something back to me by then. They phoned me and said, no, you've been denied again. And I was like, oh, heck. 
So I said to Loria, let's meet on the bridge, and she's told me I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's worked out really well for both of you, hasn't it? I mean, I'm, Laurie now sings with you. You both sound amazing from what I've heard. Mm -hmm. um, and just... I think Laurie needs to have a little bit more faith in herself. She sounds good, but, you know, I think she... Uh... <laughs> Keep telling her she, that. She likes to push the man in front, eh? Yeah. Well, no, she's she's amazing. Uh, I mean, uh, if if it's it, it's so funny. I, I one of my favorite uh, modern day country artists right now is Chris Stapleton, and uh, Morgan Stapleton sings her her or uh, his his wife. Uh, sings with her, and I find so many similarities between Lori and I. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's really cool. And she and, okay. and, and sorry, go no, ahead. Hurry on, sorry. No, 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 please. No, it's her voice. It it it, it wasn't planned or anything. We were just singing, and I was like, Lori, you got the perfect harmony for uh, like the sound of my voice and her voice. They blend really well, and so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and, and growing up with everything that you've told us about, what was would have been the first thing you wanted to be as a child? Uh, as a child, mm -hmm. well, actually, I wanted to always be a musician, so <laughs> I knew right away. But I became a firefighter and then a nurse, so. <laughs> uh, that's how I paid my bills for many, many years. Well, that is two jobs. That is something to be really proud of, to be honest with you. So no matter where you're from. Yeah. Okay, let's, make, let's make this a little bit more lighthearted, eh? Okay. Um, <laughs> what would you say, right? If I said, let's all go out for dinner tonight, where would you go to eat your favorite meal? Taco Bell? No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 no, not Taco Bell. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's, there's, there's a couple of. Pla I did a lot of traveling when I was younger. Uh, I did do construction for many years too, as well. And uh, there is one restaurant that I know of in Hamilton, Ontario. It's called La Luna's, and it's like killer. It's, it's uh, Lebanese food, but it's really, really good. <laughs> we actually have. Uh, where I live, quite a few good, um, few good Lebanese restaurants, and I love that food. Oh, it's just love not it. overly hot. It's full of flavor, mm. very spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I like shawarmas. They're the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you could buy um, Lori anything, but it had to be in your favorite color, what would that color be? Definitely be purple. <laughs> Uh, purple is probably my favorite color. I don't know why. I like purple and I like black and something okay. something purple. So, um, do you um, you obviously watch films when you get time to? Um, mm -hmm. So, what would your favorite sort of film or genre film be to watch? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna laugh. Uh, probably Terminator <laughs> as well. No, no I've seen them all. Trust me. I like Arnie. <laughs> so then out of the Terminators, what would have been your favorite one? Because, I mean, I've seen them all. Terminator 1, Terminator 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're all good. <laughs> it started getting really exciting when they started turning um, the liquid, When not it? It's always like, and the biker, when he just, <laughs> give me your clothes, give me your <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Okay, if you could choose a superpower, okay, anything to have, not here, obviously, because we can all fly and be whatever we want, but in real life, if you could choose a superpower, what would you choose? Hmm. Uh, I, I, I like flash, I like speed, that would be a neat one, <laughs> to be able to vibrate through walls and stuff. <laughs> It's always my favorite uh, superhero, so. 
so it'd be speed being able to travel at the speed of well he's faster than just about anything isn't he yeah and it's flash <laughs> it was one of my favorites um if you had a choice as well mm-hmm. with superheroes or etc would you choose dc or marvel Ah, uh, just because of all the Marvel ones, I like. Uh, like, I do like superheroes, so I'm gonna have to go with Marvel. <laughs> so it would be my choice as well, just because of yeah. Iron Man. But shh, don't tell it. <laughs> Iron Man, <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> okay, last question. Sure. So, um, and then I, I can let you get back to whatever it is that we're stopping you from doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you could be anywhere in the world right now, no restrictions, no choices, just to go relax, chill out, have a holiday, where would you go? Uh, right where I am. <laughs> I'm good right here. <laughs> well, no, okay. there's a couple places. No, I, I mean, Bora Bora would be okay. No holds barred, all the money in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably go somewhere South Pacific Islands or something like that for a trip, for a vacation. I was lucky enough to live in New Zealand for a while, and I visited Fiji, and that is amazing. Amazing. It's crazy. Different planet, (laughs) eh? (laughs) It's it's just a purity that we don't always appreciate, to be honest. Yeah, I've done a lot of traveling. I've seen uh, Fiji too. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for and having some me, time. Fantasia. Yeah, thank so you. So this is um, me signing off. This is your host, Fantasia. We were joined by the wonderful Mr. Lee Mai Garden, and we will catch you next time. Signing off. You're is my makeup okay? okay? How's my hair? Uh, you know, well, <laughs> I, probably, I probably would have added a little bit more blusher, maybe a bit more chest hair, but you know, that's just my personal uh, preference. I could probably get the Velcro out and fix that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe medallion. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, man, man. And now I can hear Laurie. <laughs> You're my third interview today, and I'm just talked out. So just tell me a joke. Go on, anything funny. Go on. A joke. I, I'm, Come on, I'm tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Joker. I'm not a good joker. <laughs> I am, I'm pragmatic. I just like to joke around with stuff that I. Guess. You know what I thought you said then? I thought you said you were pregnant. <laughs> I just, Lori just said the same. Pragmatic. Never mind. Okay, that's my accent coming out wrong. <laughs> yeah.